These bone chilling animal cruelty facts, the 21 ST century is considered as one of the important phases in the history of human civilization. Science has not only helped fulfill the basic needs of man, but also showered upon him the luxuries created by technological development. However, the so called modern society is also resorting to unprecedented cruelty and barbarism in the form of animal abuse. Many of us are oblivious to our necessities and wants. Ignorance and neglect towards animals afflict our society gravely. In any case, cruelty towards animals cannot be justified. One should understand that we are a part of nature and that we share our existences and resources with animals. By torturing animals, we are digging our own grave. It is high time we take the necessary steps to protect animals from torture and abuse. In the words of M. K. Gandhi, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Lack of awareness gone are the days when humans were hunting animals for their own survival. Today, we are a flourishing and dominant race, but yet some cater to their cheap, thrills through thoughtless cruel acts against animals. There prevails a perennial disregard for animals today and they are being poached and slaughtered relentlessly. For clothing immensely delights certain people but making a fashion statement by wearing these at the cost of a brutally murdered animal brings us to an inevitable question is this worth it? Animals used in making fur products are killed mercilessly by electrocuting with steel rods inserted only, leaving the coat intact. Other methods include suffocating them, breaking their necks and shockingly even clubbing them to death. Many countries have no law enforcement to protect these defenseless animals. Statistics show that over 2 million cats and dogs were killed for their fur in countries like China and Hong Kong. This is a disturbing case of civil barbarism. Whether wild or domestic, animals are wronged regardless. Every year, thousands of dolphins are slaughtered at a particular coast of Denmark. It is a kind of ritual performed by the youth of this country to mark the transition from teenage to adulthood. This ritual portrays that modern-day humans are yet to shed their instincts from the Stone Age. The seal hunt video from Canada had evoked strong reactions from animal rights activists. As per last heard reports, the ban imposed by the European Union on import of any kind of seal product has reduced seal hunting in Canada to a great extent. This is a considerable feat for those who passionately stood up for the cause. Animal atrocities if one is aware of the animal cruelty videos on the internet. He she would have a better idea of how animals are treated in slaughterhouses. These gory and disturbing videos not only give us an idea of the pain inflicted on animals, but also help expose the ugly face of our modern society. Unintentional neglect by workers in slaughterhouses is one of the common forms of animal cruelty. Hence, and small chicks have to live in unhygienic conditions and are crammed together in small spaces. Captive pigs are often subjected to cruel treatment such as jabbing with pins and beating with metal rods. A video about animal cruelty revealed that one of the workers from a poultry farm literally trampled the chicken to death. The cows killed for preparing beef undergo a similar kind of cruel treatment. Cows are slaughtered in a mechanized way. Sometimes, these animals are left bleeding in a half-slaughtered condition. Watching these animals fight for their lives is quite agonizing. Animals used in circus have their own story of pain and cruel treatment. Cuts and wounds of circus elephants are left untreated and the animals are forced to perform. Their wounds are camouflaged under topsoil. Due to restricted movement, elephants often suffer from osteoporosis. Bullfighting is a sporting activity in which bulls are mercilessly killed with spikes, daggers and spears. The bull being a strong and sturdy animal, death doesn't come quickly or painlessly. Excessive blood loss caused by the strikes of these weapons first weakens the bull. The animal finally succumbs to injuries. 
In 1991, Canary Islands became the first autonomous community in Spain to ban bullfighting. Catalonia became the second one to impose a ban on this sport in January 2012. Mice and rats are probably the worst fated creatures on account of the extreme pain they are put through. In a recent case that surfaced, over a thousand hamsters were asphyxiated and were made to inhale air adulterated with nanoparticles in sealed vessels that led to their deaths. The mice paid with their lives for the betterment in production of cosmetics and lotions, in which nanoparticles were unnaturally introduced for the development of these products. Think about that one a animal cruelty statistics. States like Florida, 68 cases, California, 50 cases, and Pennsylvania, 51 cases, top the list of cases related to animal abuse. Every year, more than 1.1 million animals in USA are used for the purpose of research and testing of different kinds of products. There were 832 cases of animal abuse reported in the year 2009 in the United States. A short account of animal cruelty the year 2010 started off with similar kind of animal abuse practices. Here's a peek into its details in a report published by PETA. It was observed that research laboratories do not follow the norms and rules regarding proper and ethical treatment of animals. Facts regarding ill treatment of animals present a horrifying picture before us. Abusing animals is quite a common practice among workers in research laboratories. Animals are subjected to cruel treatments like spraying with water through pressure hoses, use of harmful chemicals and bleaches. Etc. These defenseless creatures are forced to eat harmful chemicals in order to obtain test results. This practice, though carried out under the name of research animal testing, is actually illegal and unethical just like any other animal abuse practice. What you can do? You don't need to be an animal lover to help animals. All you have to be is a human. There should be a certain awareness about wrongdoings towards animals in your surroundings. Today, there are various organizations and individuals who are working consistently towards securing and safeguarding animals against any form of cruelty or injustices. They can be reached on their contact numbers and websites. PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, is the largest animal rights center which can be contacted in cases of animal abuse. It just takes a phone call to put an animal out of its misery. You have the power to be vigilant and report any sort of misconduct against animals in your area. It is important that we speak up or at least do our bit in putting an end to these atrocities. Supporting the causes that defend animals and not contributing to medical researches without appropriate information are some of the ways to fight. Against animal cruelty, facts for kids children need to be educated while in school about how they can combat animal cruelty. First of all, they need to be educated about animal rights and the fact that it is illegal to abuse animals. Few children draw fun out of activities like torturing domestic animals. Animals, just like humans, suffer from pain when abused. When a child understands this basic thing, he she would refrain from partaking in any such activity and also prevent others from doing so. Disturbed kids suffering from peer pressure should be corrected in case of misconduct with animals. This is their shot at becoming a superhero that they adore by refraining from torturing animals and helping in protecting them. Kindness and compassion towards animals is an important thing to be taught and followed. The animal abuse facts mentioned above are just the tip of the iceberg. You can find more about some of the worst forms of abuse by referring to animal testing facts online. I hope each one of you reading this article can find it in your heart to secure the condition of any animal in distress and do the right thing by acting upon it both on a domestic and global level.